I am Tana Cat, and welcome to my channel. Today we are playing XOXO Droplets, and it took me a while to get back to this point because I accidentally saved over a load file. I thought it said load. Did not. But I try to keep things as close to as possible. It's a little hard because a lot of these events, like who you randomly meet up, is random. So, not everything's the same. But you probably don't pay attention to that anyways. It's fine. Anyways... Let us continue. I guess I didn't do it previously. Previously, it was Bay's birthday, and we found out why he was the Antichrist. He looks like his grandparents instead of his parents. But that's enough for uh, Everett to think he's the Antichrist. And that's pretty much where we left off. Alright, let us continue. Well, if it makes you feel better, you'll keep one more thing the same for these meetings. You still have to wish Bay a happy birthday before you can leave. God. Wow. Very funny. Come on. Go on now. Happy birthday, Antichrist. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Bay! Thank you! Well, he didn't pull the aim th that one. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you! <laughs> he seems so displeased. <gasps> Pran said happy birthday! I am shocked. Happy birthday. Thank you? Happy birthday, Bay. Thank you for letting us come along on your birthday tradition. No, thanks needed, Sunshine. It wasn't my choice. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Wow. Okay, uh I'm I'm just surprised that Pran said something. Usually it's dot 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 and Lynn's just like <laughs> Forget about him. Okay, so... Still just down there in the hearts department, huh? And there's nowhere you'll go if I ask you. Not that I can, because there's no stuffs there. Um, I guess I'll text him. Super low. Let me see. Call not Alicia. Missy. Others are the lowest. Do I have anything for others? Some Tic Tacs math. Super fun without being able. Oh, actually, this is not too bad. It's very big. time and get a thingy. Mm -hmm. 
Tickets still. Yay! Okay, now trade tickets. Oh, I can talk to Cam? Okay, let me buy my stuff first. This is for others, right? Nope, that's Troublemakers. Others is the book. Yeah, because it's mysterious. Hey, ya. Hey, ya, Cam. Hey. How are you today? You know. Cool, you know. Great. Yeah. Right, so, anyways. What's your full name? I can't help asking his full name. What? What's your first name and your last name? Like, mine is Matilda Solana. What's yours? Samsung. Is that so? Oh, really? Samsung <laughs> what? What? Damn, you're stupid. Uh, what did I do? That's lame. I made a great pun that I'm sure no one else has ever made before, and you didn't get it. What? I'm not going to explain it to you. It's not a joke anymore if I have to explain it. Okay. How do you function in life? I don't know. I don't know either. You don't know how you manage to survive in this world. Or you don't even know what I meant with that sentence. Uh, both? Of course. Yeah. Anyways. Well then, moving on. Um, so, do you even want to talk to me or would you prefer staring blankly into space? Nah. It's cool. What's cool? Talking to me or... I like talking to you. Do you even remember who I am? Yeah, you're the new girl who knows Missy. Well, I'm kind of surprised you got that right, but good for you. Uh, okay? Mm-hmm. What do you like? Why do you like talking to me, Cam? You're cute. What? Really? I like your face. Oh, thank you. Well, I like your face, too. Thanks. Ha! What a positive development. Do you have any more compliments for me? Sure. What are they? You're pretty funny, and have a good haircut, and that kind of stuff, and you know... Thanks. Thanks, I do know. And that was one of the longest sentences you've said to me. No problem. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. Are you on a break right now, or am I just getting in the way? Uh. Neither. Wow. You knew what I was talking about, and you were able to respond appropriately. I'm impressed. Yeah. Still, if you're working, I should probably let you get back to that. I'll talk to you later. But yeah. Bye, Cam. Bye to you as well. Uh, okay. over for the day, Finna looks to be heading back to the dorm. Hope I need my other's reputation. Who will I work with? <sighs> oh, what is this? Sigh. 
I hate having to go out and buy stuff for school myself. I've got better things to do, you know? Hey! Shiloh, what are you wearing? Matilda? Hey! Oh, hi Shiloh. What are you doing here? Buying junk for school and stuff. What about you? I'm just out and about looking for a new hat. Okay. Okay then. Hmm. Didn't you know? I collect hats, I know. Well, I knew you, you liked hats, but I didn't know you considered them collector items. Only a hat person would wear that uniform hat. <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how much I like hats. Uh-huh. So, why hats anyways? It's cause of some stuff that happened when I was a kid. What kind of stuff? Oh, uh, well, when I was in elementary school, my hair was curlier than it is now, and I didn't like it. Some of the other kids made fun of it, too. So you wore hats to cover your hair? Yeah! Yeah! But you don't do it because of that anymore? Right again! When I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of hats. That kind of random thing to get for a kid. That's kind of a random thing to get for a kid, after all. So, I'd wear the same couple of hats all the time. Eventually, my friends and family noticed how I always wore a hat and started to give me more. It made me happy. By the time I was in middle school, I got over my hair issues, but I didn't want to people to feel like I stopped caring about their gifts, so I kept wearing all the hats I had. And because I kept wearing them, people kept giving them. Giving me them. It was a cycle. Eventually, I had quite a stockpile and I really came to appreciate the hat as an accessory. It was a little bit before I entered high school, and I started collecting them for myself. Good for you. Very interesting. Good for you, I guess. Thanks. Thanks, Matilda. Nate? Hey. What do you want? Nothing. But didn't you see us here? Yeah, I did. And you weren't going to talk to us? No. I wasn't. Wow. You're the worst groupmate ever. I have things to do. Sorry, I got things to do. And you're talking to each other already. You don't need me to join the conversation. He's got a point. We shouldn't bother him if he's busy. Don't pretend to agree with me. Just admit you don't want me to be part of your conversation. <sighs> Alright, I don't. You're not a nice guy. Well, you're part of the conversation now, so deal with it, both of you. What are you shopping for? God. The accessory store got some new necklaces in, so I'm going to check them out. Oh, that's right. You collect necklaces. Yeah. So? Coincidentally, we were just talking about Shiloh and his hat in his thing for hats. Weird. See you later. Not so fast. Clearly, this is a sign you have to tell us why you collect necklaces now. I'm not going to do that. Come on! No. Mm. Please? Fine. It started back when I was a kid. You too, huh? Don't interrupt me. Sorry. Sorry. As I was saying, when I was a kid, I went on a field trip. And near the end, we got to walk around the little store to buy a souvenir. I picked a small bear model carved out of a rock, out of rock. I was really happy about it. But then when we all gathered back together in front of the bus to take us back to the school, I realized my bear wasn't in my pocket anymore. Uh. It must have fallen out at some point. I kind of made a scene and refused to get on the bus without my thing. Some of the teachers tried to calm me down. Others started looking around the area for my bear but one ran off when she came back she had a very similar bear except this one had a leather strap tied around it turns out it came in a necklace version and she brought it for me bought it for me she put it around my neck and told me I wouldn't lose it this way and that's how it started from then on, I'd always 
get a necklace when we went on trips. Eventually, I stopped waiting for trips and would get more from the stores in town. Ha! Huh. Cute. That's nice. Oh. What's nice? <laughs> does does he collect hair clips or glasses? Bay, you're here now too. Ugh. Great. Does anyone else from the group want to randomly show up? Hello, you three. What could possibly bring you together? Accessories, apparently. Really? What a coincidence! I was on my way to pick a new pair of glasses. What's wrong with the ones you've got on? Nothing. I'm getting new ones just because I want to. If you haven't noticed, I collect glass frames. <laughs> oh yeah, you do. I was making fun of you, but sheesh. How many of you people have accessory collections again? Mm, what do you mean? You were just talking about Shiloh and his hats collection and then Nate and his necklace collection and now you and your glasses collection showed up. Aha! Uh -huh. That's hilarious. Yet, a tad odd. Anyways... So, Bay, do you have some childhood story for why you collect glasses? No. Oh. Oh, well, alright. Bye. I'm leaving. So am I. Ta-ta. I better get going, too. See you. Good luck with your accessory escapades, you three. Bye! Thanks! Bye, Matilda! Accessory escapades? Miguel seems to be hanging back for a bit. Jocks or nerds? Who do I need more of? Missy, give me the scoop. Jocks, 181. Nerds, 170. I guess we can use some more nerddom. So, bye Miguel. Okay. Notebook. Not notebook. Book. Put that. How do I get you to three hearts, Everett? How? I guess I need to go back to uh, the thing. Making weird noises. Fantastic. Right, I'll just nap now. How do I get you to three hearts? Had to pull up the thing again. Figure out how to date. Yeah, let's do it. We got like 10 more minutes. Okay. Options. Help. Boyfriends and dating. Yep. Yeah, main boyfriend. Different boyfriends function different ways. You don't have. Uh, you can only do Everett Nate. Yep, we know that. No, the type of boyfriends. Mean guy. Everett Gate, Gray, Nate Austin, blah blah blah. Those guys have the most content by far. And no benefits other than that. If you don't like the guy, you won't get anything more than pursuing. Okay. 
Okay, so do you to get the right ones? You have a point to me. Call up the guy on Saturday, spending one fifty hard points to get the guy they brought. Okay, the next time he comes, screenshot of the guy. Spinny key, one call on short notice. Yep. Yeah, it's still a tiny problem. Yep. Date conversation. Yep. No more spinning affection points doesn't mean that I just like you less. Blah blah. Blah blah. blah, blah. There are 20 date locations in total. Mm hmm. School day car. Mm hmm. School day free. Yep. Here's how you unlock them. We have the hobby shop and the accessory store. We have the arcade. Um, there is an the amusement park. I believe the beaches are open. And we have fuchsia. Archer Lane. We did Botanical Gardens. There's a museum, but we can't go there. The karaoke joint. Countryside. Um, yep, we got the indoor pool. Okay, so we still need to unlock the game center, I guess. And the zoo. Too hot to affection or entirely. This is max friendship. If you want to get even closer, your only option is to make the guy your boyfriend. When you fill the two heart affection bar, a new button will appear on the date selection screen. The button has the same sign on the relationship info screen button on the weekend menu. Okay, I guess we'll wait till the weekend. Hopefully, I'll remember that info. School is over for the day. Yumi looks like to be heading back to the dorm. Uh, I'm sure. We'll walk with Yumi. Everett sure has gotten better at hiding his phone in class. That or the teacher can't be bothered to tell him to stop anymore. Yep, we need the others. Sachi. Yep. So, we just look them up. Oh, oh, here it is. Be my boyfriend. Oh, we can do it. Ask your special someone to be in an official relationship with you. Let's do it. Hey. Hello, Everett. I want to see you tomorrow. I got something I need to talk to you about. That sounds serious. No thanks. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. Ah, oh, my heart just goes badump every time. It's just like doki doki ness. All of the very doki funny. Dokies. But yes, this is serious. It's not going to be like one of our regular fun time dates or anything. Hmm. I really want to come now. Wonderful. Tomorrow you're going to have to sneak into the girls' dorm so we can talk in my room. What? Why? Because it's the best place to make sure we won't be interrupted. Yeah. I don't do serious super secret talks. If you can't tell me somewhere normal, I don't want to know. Just come, you loser. You'll be glad you did. I doubt it. Come on! You have to come. It's the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Great. Look forward to it. <laughs> sure. Bye. Bye. It's like pulling teeth with him. Goodness. <laughs> Why do we like him again? Because his eyes are pretty. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Um... 
Let's go walk around. I didn't mean to do that. Me. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could talk to Kim again. Now, I'm not going to get more than five tickets. Yeah, thank you. Uh, trade tickets. No, I can't talk to him yet. Okay. Bye, Cam. Bye. Um... Now it's the talk. Oh, look how snazzy he looks. You made it. Yeah. You think this is my first time sneaking into someone... Some place? I'm not supposed to go? Probably not. Mm-hmm. So what's this about already? Okay. Okay. Evergrey. Yeah. We haven't known each other for very long. But... We've had some good times, and I've come to the conclusion that your ridiculous company is my favorite. That's why I've decided to give you the offer of a lifetime. And? Huh. Uh-huh. And? Hooray! And I want you to be my official boyfriend. Ta-da! Jazz hands. What the fuck? Why? I just told you, you're my favorite. Yeah, I don't really do the whole monogamy thing. Oh, I understand. You've never had the chance to do it with me before. <laughs> True. So? I don't know, it's weird. What even changes if we're official? Well, for one, you'd have to stop making out with all those other random chickadees you have flings with. I figured. Anything else? Ha! Huh. Yeah. You'd have more time to make out with me. Ugh. Can't we do that without going into GF slash BF territory? We could. But you're not gonna. But we're not gonna. I wanna be a couple. Why? What's the big appeal of tying yourself down. You know you're not the only girl I've seen, and I can't be the only guy you've got some kind of thing for. <sighs> Everett. <laughs> Listen, I could have gone after Nate, okay? Really, I could have gone after two other people besides you. <laughs> but, whatever. Anyways... <laughs> Well, in this episode here, we will see if he accepts our proposal. In the next episode, I'm Tatoka. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon. <laughs>